Hey everybody, today we're going to be making a Harry Potter wand. I decided that I'm going to do it Gryffindor themed. So we've got reds and yellows and I've got a red LED here that we're going to be using. If I wanted to, I also have a yellow LED, but I think I'm going to stick with red. Uh, yellow might glow a little brighter, so I might test both, but we're going to start with red for now. So the first thing you want to do, actually I'll do it with my red one. So you always want to test your LEDs before doing any circuit work. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put it on my battery and make sure that it works. This is key that you make sure it works before you start. It's nothing worse than getting to the part way through, like towards the end of your circuit project, only to discover that your LED is dead or your battery is dead. So make sure you test those first. So what we're going to do first is we our wand is going to be created using three popsicle sticks to do our circuit. One of them is going to be our center and I'm going to probably make my center the yellow one. That's kind of my plan for right now. And the two outside ones will be red so it's a little bit more Gryffindor themed. So what I'm going to do is one of these is going to have a switch on it. So you're going to be able to swing your wand around. Sorry cast your spells with your swish and your flick and lumos and you'll close the circuit and your light bulb will turn on on your wand so your wand will light up so for that we need to have a circuit on our wand now got some copper tape here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by wrapping a little bit of copper tape around my popsicle stick. You know, copper tape does like to roll back on itself so just be really careful. And I want my on off switch to be a little on the lower end so I'm going to put it down here so it'll be nicely positioned under my thumb and now about a centimeter above that I'm going to add another piece of copper tape. There we go. So we have that. So there's going to be a break in our circuit and that's going to allow us to have on off action. Now we're going to add copper tape to either end. So you just kind of can take a measurement and then so you can see approximately how long you need and then give it a snip. We're going to take that. We're going to just, oops. Run that right down to the end. And now we're going to do the same up to the top. Okay, so that's what that side looks like. So now we've got this one finished, we're going to work on the next one. So for this one, we just want one long strip of copper tape going all the way from top to bottom. So I'm just going to take a quick measurement. Snip it. Now because copper tape does like to curl back on itself, you might want to leave some of the paper backing on and then start by sticking it and then slowly peeling it off. There we go. There we go. So we have our copper tape on those two. Now this one is going to be in the middle and it's going to act as our insulator. Remember we don't want our positive and our negative sides to touch whenever we're doing circuit work. So we need to have an insulator in there. So I'm going to trim this and it's going to be trimmed about there. I need enough space to slide my battery in. So actually I can go a lot lower as you can see. I just need about that much snipped off the end so we have enough room to slide the battery in. There we go. Oops, shot that across the room. So now we've got these. So what's going to happen is we are going to be creating a little popsicle stick sandwich. So when I'm done, this is what we're going to have. But first we want to put our LED in. So we're going to attach our LED. 
It doesn't matter which side you go to first because you can always adjust which way you have your battery in to make it turn on and off. So it doesn't matter which side you put your positive or negative on at this point. What we're going to do is we're going to attach our LED using copper tape. And we're going to tape that down like that. Okay, and now we're going to repeat onto this side. And I'm just going to tape it down on here. So there we go. So we have our little build like that so far. So this is going to become our switch. Where am I? There I am. So this is going to become our switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this here. I'm going to create a little hinge and I'm going to attach it there. But first, I need to add some copper tape here. Because with the copper tape on here, that will cause the circuit to complete. And then my light will turn on. So I'm going to grab a little bit of tape here. Okay. And I want to make sure we are positioning it so it's going to close our circuit. Perfect. Now I've got a little bit of yellow tape. I also have red tape, but I'm going to go with yellow. I like the look of yellow. I'm going to take a little bit of that. We're just using electrical tape here. And we're going to trim it down a bit. going to put our electrical tape on here and we're going to just tape it into place like that. Now I am going to grab some red tape and I am going to actually we're going to test. One of the things when doing circuits you always want to test. So let's test this puppy. We're going to put that in there. And we're going to, oh, no, let's go this way. There we go. We have, oh, you guys can't see. There we go. Okay, so my switch is working. So now let's tape this up. So what we want to do, we want to add some tape around here. There we go. And I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow and I'm going to stick yellow on the bottom. Now I'm just going to. Snug that in, and I am going to run the tape around here to hold my battery in place. Now, when we are ready to turn on our wand, all we have to do is say Lumos, and we have our wand. We've completed our circuit and our wand lights up. So there's our project.